in Bud Walton Arena, the Razorbacks and the Mastodons. Welcome inside along with former John Brown from University. Fort Wayne and a guy that John Kaufman is so happy to have on his team. Yeah, and you know, it's, it's good when you got a hometown kid that can come in and try and help his hometown team get some doubles. Also mean a drive on the year. paint as well. Important to note the differences there with Coach Kaufman's philosophy. Definitely. And is around traffic to score it. And Hannah is showing you that he's a versatile. Transition for the Razorbacks. Macon spots up and heads. <laughs> and Macon looking good here early on. Great freedom of movement for the offensive player. Stewart on the mark. First bucket of the game for the Mastodons. And Stewart covering Stewart nicely showing on you D. He's not shot. Conchar wide open. He's going to hit that. And there it is again. Another one of those paint touches by penetrating and kicking out to the wide open shooter. An ultra-efficient team last year shot 46% from the field. Yep. And Coach Kaufman, he says he likes to recruit guys that are ten-toed, three-square type players, meaning they can knock down spot-up shots. There's Moses Kingsley's first bucket of the but This is a team, this is a preseason summit favorite by a lot of publications. This team could make a lot of noise. Bryson Scott, Kingsley one of those reasons. Time. Yeah, He's got that shot in his arsenal, but he can't hit it. Macon from the top. Man, Macon is just looking from once again. Really, really good. He'll fire up the three. Short. Conchar, another tough rebound. What a look. Perfectly done to Taylor for the deuce. You know, Coach Coffin said his team isn't a three-point shooting team, but they sure do like to throw them up there. <laughs> and that's what Arkansas likes to do. Watkins. And they're trying to walk out here with a W. Played some tough road teams as well as Watkins scoops to the hoop. You talk about at Utah, at Indiana last year. There's no question this is a battle-tested team. A lot of those guys are back for this season. They break the pressure. Here's Cason Harrell. As good a shooter, according to Coach Kaufman, as the they have in practice, their program. You know, you want to practice hard. You want to let the guys go at it and get physical, but... Three stays in for Anton Beard. To get good three by as this ball game continues and as, well, as the season continues, really. They're going to have to adjust. Yeah, definitely. And both teams just doing a good job knocking down the tray ball. Arkansas shooting about 60%. There's Barford on the high arc. I know he's the guy that can put it in the hole. Scott wanted the ball, shoots it away, and fires it in. Bryson Scott. The Mastodons with the basketball, eight minutes to go in the first. Evans on the step back. This Mastodon <laughs> cannot <laughs> imagine what that means. <laughs> Hannes off to the races against Evans. And Evans lets him go by, probably pretty well. Takes the lead, and they've held yeah. it for the last few minutes. Great look, and Evans finishes it off. This is absolutely beautiful basketball for the Dons. And this is the type of Fort Wayne adding to a three-point lead, not this time. Anton Beard all the way himself, and he scores it. And he had to go around a couple of Fort Wayne players to do so. Make the Dons yeah. adjust to, to their their drives. Tough move by <laughs> Hannes, and he gets the roll. Or it kisses every part of the rim and falls. Or you can just... Hannes thought about it. The Thompson on the cut. Yes, and one. <laughs> Trace off the look at the year. Yeah, definitely. Hannah's triple tie in. He's lighting it up. Arkansas's lead back to six. Open look, Ruiz. Offensive or rather defensive rebound down to Arkansas. Beard behind the back. Look at it, Watkins for the deuce. Timeout, out, John Kaufman. <laughs> And Arkansas just doing a great. Watkins off of the Thompson screen. Beard triggers and hits. And that's a big shot by Beard. Turned off. Down Probably. by eight. Two to go. Runner by Evans. Good at the buzzer. Man, that's a tough shot. That man. is how this first half should come to a close. It has been entertaining. Kingsley the five on the floor at this point. Oh, Kingsley, that's what he brings to the table, man. He has got some wonderful footwork down in the paint. And if you're Fort Wayne, you're going to have to double him. You can't guard him one-on-one -on -one in Fort Wayne. He's back 30 years, well, 40 years later, pretty much. And a beautiful scoop to the hoop by Barford. Rather make it on that one. Yeah. And I thought he may have got away with a walk, but ref didn't call it, so it doesn't matter. His pressure is really causing havoc, and Thomas puts it in. John Kaufman has to call another timeout. And he is not happy with That's how his team. Set. 
Thomas on the lean. Nifty footwork on the up and under. Yeah, nice move by Thomas. Thomas trying he to just find take a his hand time. and gets it to Beard. Beard. And he'll get one more chance. No good open looks that Arkansas was getting at times in the first. Here's Kingsley going to work and scoring. And he just basically threw that ball Beard inside the goal. He the yeah. because of a toe injury, and he transferred from Purdue. Yep. Hannes with a quick finish. Lead back to six. Watkins making on the break. Euro step and now Hannah's with the finish. Arkansas needed this. Needed to get out and run a little Got bit. Got all get alone. This. Way off on the three. Kutcher almost threw it down. Oh, he got up. Back the other way, Hannah's. Yes, and a foul. It goes from almost yeah. a tremendous follow flush all the way to the goal. Moses <laughs> Kingsley says no. What a superhuman stuff. Harrell, yes on the triple. So Fort Wayne, no harm, no foul. Play the one, Contra, the two, the three, he had sometimes a the four. What a pass to tell it. Trigger it up and hit. Big shot for the Dons. The big guy, 6'9", Tala showing you he has some range. A vastly improved offensive player. And Watkins right back the other way finds some open space. Conchar, he's holding his hands on his knees. Getting a little tired. Jalen Barford, not quite. Barford finally able to get, get a three-pointer down for Arkansas. This is testing Conchar and the rest of the Mastodon stamina. Oh, but he still nails it. I mean, yeah. his legs have got to be yeah. tired at this point. And he's tugging on his shirt saying, I, I, I need one, coach. Got to get me out of here. Thomas spin around and the foul. And he touches on a win in opening night. Barford doesn't do it that time. What a look inside by Kingsley to watch it. Kingsley doing it all, showing you his point guard skills with a knife. In and out. One that Fort Wayne needed badly. Yeah, and they needed that one. How many of those have we seen tonight, though? Darryl Macon increases the Arkansas lead to 13. Razorbacks are pushing the action. They got some confidence now. Thomas from the corner. Now they're rolling. We see Mo Evans come out here and do some things. Then he started to cramp up and wasn't able to finish this game. But uh, they got some key pieces to do some good they things. Only a shade over a minute left. And you got to respect this Fort Wayne team because look at who is still out there on the floor. Well, end well, even though Fort Wayne gave Mike Anderson and the Hogs a test here in Fayetteville, a 92-83 to 83 victory for the Hogs.